Okay, hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm just gonna light an incense real quick. Okay, this is a Taurus 48 hour read. We're gonna look into the general energy, your love, if it pops up, and your finances, okay? And what you need to pay attention to for the next 48 hours, all right? Let's get some channel messages for y'all. Okay, we got good luck here. We got something about your cousin is significant, okay? It says, I do not respect you. I want to take advantage of you because it's easy. We got, I'm weighing my options. So somebody could be weighing their options if they want to fuck with you or not. Or this is you weighing your options or in regards to maybe fucking with somebody, a person, place, or thing or something, okay? A Sagittarius could be involved here or you have that in your chart somewhere. It says, how bad could it be, okay? Yeah, I think you weighing your options, okay? You trying to see if something is the right fit for you or somebody trying to see if they can take advantage of you, okay? Or something, take something from you, get something or something. We got unconditional love, okay? This is, could be what you're asking for in life right now, okay? Or you feel like somebody only loves you under certain conditions. Okay, we got something about poverty being here. We have something about a reward, okay? So, I feel like it's a decision, okay? And it'll affect, it'll affect how the course of your money goes as well. So, you need to think long and hard about it and use your intuition, okay? You guys may be seeing ghosts or hearing things in your house, like weird sounds, things of that nature. Okay, we got hate the other side. So, I don't know. I feel like this is some gang energy here. Or, like, you from, like, a certain part of town or something. I don't know. I don't know. You'll know better than me. And we got focusing on important on the important things. I kind of want to pull a few more because I'll be liking to, like, read these to see what's going on. We got Mercury Communication. Okay, um, awareness, vision, lens, palette, perception, curiosity, wondering, thoughts. Okay, so, yes. I feel like y'all just in your head trying to make a decision about something in regards to your money always. Okay, you could be getting signs. Um, pay attention to the red light signals or the signal signals on your car, okay? You could be telling somebody that you need space. You could be communicating this, or somebody can be communicating this to you in the next 48 hours. We got hidden cameras. We got falling out here. Okay, I'm going to just get one more because I'm doing too much. Okay, we got all eyes on you. Okay, they came out last time as well. Okay, let's see what your general energy is and what messages your higher self wants you to know in the next 48 hours. Okay. <clears throat> we got the divine tarantella okay um i don't know why i see, think of tarantula so be careful of spiders make sure you're um getting any spider webs or spiders out of the home okay y'all doing a little winter clean getting ready for the winter because this is the time that they like to come inside the house or somebody trying to trap you okay but we got the divine tarantella she want to speak to you Okay, we got witches brew. Oh shit. Somebody trying to turn your ass into beef stew. No, I'm playing. <laughs> I'm playing, but uh yeah, I ain't never pulled that card before. We got witches brew, okay? Y'all could be smoking heavily over the next few days. Okay, y'all could be getting thinking about Christmas, saving money for Christmas. You got red and green here. Or shopping for Christmas, okay? We got Beltane Reunion. Also, watch out for deers as well, okay? So, let's see what advice your higher self has for you, okay? Okay, it says confidence, self-expression, okay? Drawing this card is a reminder of the healing power of bold, joyful action. When all else fails to uplift, a vigorous does for work like a charm, okay? So, the ultimate 
expression of the mind, body, and spirit will shake all the bad vibes right up. Increase your overall health and vitality. So over the next few days, y'all are going to be um, paying attention to your health and trying not to let like anything get on your nerves, take you out your element. You know, you're just going to be shaking some stuff off, okay? I feel like you're going to be effectively communicating how you feel. And not really feeling too bad about it. You really focus on the important things over the next 48 hours. Okay. Let's see what other messages they have. Okay. We got cultivate, healing, refine. Okay. The witch starts her cauldron full of the perfect healing herbs to cure anything that ails you. Her whole world is rich with resources and she has cultivated it in all to concoct her potions. So this could be y'all, okay, or somebody is doing this against you, okay? Y'all over there concocting something. Um, the goddess is creative, creative, industrious, versatile, and talented. She gives a center feeling of well-being by warmth of her fire. When this card is drawn, it is time to develop and refine your own qualities of constancy, attention, and imaginative consideration. It is well worth knowing what you don't know and taking the time to fill in the gaps of your knowledge and your chosen interests. So I feel like y'all just building up y'all knowledge on a situation. Y'all could be building up evidence, gathering receipts, or y'all just literally gathering up the knowledge you need to do whatever you're trying to do here. Whatever you focus on, whatever is important to you right now, okay? Whatever options you weighing out, okay? Y'all are, are paying attention to it, okay? And giving, giving it the energy and the time of day right now, okay? This is why some falling out and miscommunication could be happening because you, you are focused on not only the important things. I keep saying that, whatever that is, because I keep like ringing in my ear, okay? Whatever that is, as well as boosting your self-confidence, okay, and your self-expression. And communicating what you really want out of life, okay? How you feeling, how you truly feeling, things of that nature, okay? Something about your cousin is here as well, okay? So that could be significant. But we got union, coupling, intimacy, okay? You do have the ability to reach a new level of emotional intimacy, which is a source of true bliss in life. The pattern of relationships is a pendulum swinging between union and individuation. Now is the time for union. Okay, so there may have been a falling out with somebody who you were significantly close with. Okay. But I feel like, I don't know, there just was a mis miscommunication or something of that nature. Okay, well, let's just get into the tarot. Because I be talking too goddamn much and I will talk all day if y'all let me. Taurus, I feel like y'all talk a lot. Too much. I hate cars with loud ass motherfuckers. Let me shut up. But still, like they be hurting my goddamn feelings. Okay, what is Taurus energy for the next 48 hours? You got the chariot. And the two of wands. So y'all definitely moving forward. You definitely could be dealing with family, okay? A cousin, like I said here. The two of wands, okay? You're waiting for some. You're moving on and you're waiting for shit to start working for you, okay? King of Swords. Y'all have been studying. Y'all have been practicing. Y'all have been gaining the knowledge about a situation, okay? Um, I feel like y'all been in this, in this hermit energy, learning and studying something, whatever you're interested in. Okay, let's see what's going on here. The Chariot, the Two of Wands. Okay, yeah, Nine of Wands. Okay, heavy fire energy here. Who is this reading for? Uh, Taurus. So, so far you got Cancer and you got fire energy. Um, I think, I feel like y'all just happen to be resilient right now. It's just testing your faith. It's testing, testing your courage, Okay. And y'all also are setting boundaries at this time. I feel like, yeah, um, y'all falling out because you're setting boundaries and people are not really used to you being like that. Okay, what's this nine of wands? What's this test? 
Yeah, ten of swords, okay? The test is not being mentally in your head about a situation. The test is not letting something be burdensome, okay? Overbearing, overwhelming you, okay? Getting you in this sad and depressed energy, okay? Feeling as if you can't manifest, okay? Stuck. The test is not feeling any of those emotions, okay? Seeing the, the bright side about the situation. Okay, we got the King of Wands in reverse. Okay, somebody here also could be a little sexually frustrated. Okay. As well. We got the King of King. I'm sorry, King of Wands in reverse. Yeah. Okay, so this uh, I feel like some somebody here has lost a little bit of direction, a little bit of control. Um I feel like somebody don't really know which route to, to take. Um, I feel like somebody is just, uh, I don't know. Let's see. What's the King of Wands in reverse? What's the King of Wands in reverse? The Moon card in reverse. So I just I feel like you in the dark about something. You 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 yeah, you weighing your options. Something isn't like clear cut revealed on what you should do in regard. I feel like this is like a situation about your life purpose or something. Like what are you meant to be doing at this exact moment? But I feel like what you're doing now is just what you're supposed to be doing, okay? It's it's something that you yeah, the hermit energy. I just said that I feel like y'all in this hermit energy. I feel like y'all having doubt about y'all future, or you don't know which which route to take. Essentially, what's this moon card in reverse? What's this moon card in reverse? What's the moon card in reverse? What's the moon card in reverse? King of Swords judgment. Okay, I feel like you scared, uh, scared. I don't know, scared to speak your mind about a situation, scared to come out. You scared of the criticism. I don't know. You may feel like your opinion is is invalid, or you don't have the credit or the knowledge or something, or nobody gonna listen. You're gonna be judged about what this is, this route that you want to take, this route that you want to do. Um. Fear of failure, fear of embarrassment. I don't know. All eyes are on you, though. So I, I just, I feel like y'all get attention. Yeah, we got. Mm, holding back. I feel like whatever y'all know, y'all only like sharing it to small amounts of people, small crowds. Okay, you haven't done something on a bigger scale. So you don't know how it will turn out, how people will react to whatever it is that you're doing. Yeah, Ace of Truth at the bottom of the... I said Ace of Truth, Ace of Swords, so that is the truth. Um, You know a lot about what you're talking about. King of Swords, somebody very intellectual. Somebody very, very, very smart. They have a lot of knowledge about a lot of different things, okay? I feel like y'all only do something um in front of like... I don't know, I'm hearing three's a crowd in front of three people, three of cups, okay, and in front of a small gathering, a celebration, or you have, or you do this, you keep this energy uh, to yourself, you perform in front of yourself, okay, or I don't know, somebody who you trust, but I feel like this is a situation where it's going to be on a mass scale, okay. Somebody don't like attention here, but they also like attention, if that makes sense, like, I don't know. This is like you want they want you to look at you or somebody, but you like peek it. I don't know. You somebody's doing this, like that's how you want somebody to look at you, like not all the way, just peek. I don't know. What the fuck? Got the King of Cups and King of Cups in reverse. And the Knight of Wands. Also, okay, somebody like is having trouble. Um Maybe like 
I don't know. I, I feel like you got to fall in love with it, okay? And I feel like you got to change your view about whatever this is, okay? Which is why it's coming in so slow and manifesting so slow. Knight of Wands. I also feel like there is a... I don't know. There's like some impulsive or there is... Hold on. Let me see something real quick. Sorry, y'all. I just want to make sure I'm telling y'all the right shit. We got the King of Cups in reverse, emotional abuse, toxic love spirits. That's what I said. It's it's some type type of doubt or something about it. I don't know. I just feel like somebody ain't that confident in impatience, carelessness, rashness. Okay, I don't know. It's just some I feel like y'all not taking something else is going on, okay, causing you to be in this a uh, low spirit, toxic spirit, or this is, I don't know, somebody around, around you. But I feel like y'all rushing. Y'all not really, like, thinking something through. Also, I don't know. You're being, like, pessimistic about it. But you know, you know what you're doing, okay? Yeah. Seven of Pentacles, okay? This is causing you limited success. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Okay. You're not giving something time to grow. You're not giving something time to manifest. What's the seven of pentacles in reverse? King of pentacles. Exactly. You're not giving something time to grow. Y'all know what y'all talking about. Y'all are the king of swords. Somebody here is just fear, uh, fear of rejection. Fear of not being seen. Okay. Fear of not something not going the right way. Y'all also dealing with somebody in y'all energy. Who causing y'all to be falling out or mad because you said something, okay? Causing you to be in this toxic, low spirit, okay? Causing you limited success when you could be the king of pinnacles. You want something to come now because things are bad now, but that's just, it just can't work like that, okay? Temperance in the tower, okay? Once you learn how to balance things out, balance your emotions, okay? This blockage will end. This tower, okay? Everything will come full circle. But once you, until your uh, your your mindset is is here, okay, it's it's gonna be really difficult because that's like giving a brand new fifty thousand dollar car to a fifteen year old who just got their permit. If I give you this huge blessing, are you gonna mess it up? And are people who are in your energy are they gonna be around to take this from you if I give this to you? So you got to do a whole energetic clear. You got to get in hermit mode, okay? And you got to do what you got to do. Period. Okay. Let's look into your finances really quick. Okay, Taurus. I just I see a lot of potential in this read. I just feel like it's something in your energy that's bothering you, pissing you off, okay? Or getting you in this energy. Whoever around you, person, place, or thing. What is Taurus finances like? Partnership, conscious consumer, watching your watching your spending, watching what you buying your money on, okay, and take a divinely guided change, okay. All positive changes, successful ventures involve a degree of risk, and you are ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories. As you leave behind that which is com comfortable and familiar, that no longer appropriate for you, you make room for new and more meaningful opportunities. Exactly, okay? You also need to be watching what y'all eating at this time, okay? That will cause your uh, you to feel really bad or have you feeling all just toe up, okay? Stomach hurting and all types of stuff, like low vibration. That's a low vibration. That's a low vibrational plate. No, let me stop playing. Okay, but that's all I got for you guys today, Taurus. If this message resonated, make sure you hit that like button. And make sure you subscribe so you can be notified the next time I post another video. And I will see y'all in the next one. Okay, bye, Taurus.